I'm going to mute everybody so that we don't have any weird background sounds. Today is a day of happiness and peace. I am grounded and I am centered and I am grateful for my beautiful life that is filled with many blessings. I move through my day with consciousness, with grace and with love. Let that kind of just settle into you. I'll repeat that mantra at the end, um, just this morning affirmation. Um, trying to do a little better at that personally, just trying to set a little bit more of an intention for my days. So now we'll come into just a little bit of a breathing exercise. Sitting nice and tall, and you can keep your eyes closed. Just place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. So near your collarbone towards the top of your, your sternum. Press your feet actively into the ground. And I want you to feel the inhalation, lifting the upper ribs and the chest. And the exhale, the belly expanding and maybe softening and feeling that. So just take a couple rounds of just really noticing the breath. So we inhale and exhale. You can breathe in and out of your nose unless your nose is stopped up, then breathe out of your mouth. But just try to breathe in and out of your nose today. Let your mouth relax and feel your lips loose, your tongue soft in your mouth. As you inhale, feel the sense of a rising, a lifting, and as you exhale, feel a sense of grounding and of letting go. The inhale, bringing in everything you need. And the exhale, just letting go of everything that you don't need anymore. Oftentimes as human beings, we pick up things, other people's energy, other people's trauma, and we hold on to it. Maybe some of that trauma is our own trauma, but if we can learn to let go of some of it, we can allow our body to become more at ease. Let's take three more deep cleansing breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, and we'll open our eyes on the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's roll out our wrist and open your eyes and just make some movement with your hands. So becoming aware of our joints, there's lots of bones in your wrist, so if you can Move them in all different directions, that's good. And then we'll take our arm out in front of us and just pull back each finger. So take your um, right hand forward and then gently just pull back your right index finger. So you'll feel a little stretch in the palm of your hand. And then try the next finger, your middle finger. And then gently pull back the ring finger and then the pinky finger. And you don't, you're not trying to break your finger by any means, just trying to get a little stretch. And then come back and do your thumb. This is a fun one. You can try to pull your thumb down towards your wrist. Now for some people who are double jointed, can all, like my thumb can touch my wrist. I'm betting a lot of yours will not. <laughs> I think my thumbs are a little bit double jointed. And then we'll just move around that right hand. And we'll take out the left hand. So reach it out in front of you. And then we'll do the same thing. You know, gently pull back your index finger, 
oh, it hurt my pop. <laughs> Pull back your middle finger, your ring finger, and then your pinky finger. And then we'll drop the thumb towards the wrist and you can kind of move it in a way that feels good. If it doesn't go all the way down, don't worry about it. And then we'll roll out the wrist. So our wrist and our feet, we use them all the time. So we gotta like move them in all different directions to keep them, you know, moving smoothly. All right, now let's take our hands and interlace them and then push them out. So you got stretching all 10 fingers, thumbs point down. Lift your head up, sit nice and tall in your chair. And then we're gonna reach up to the sky. Bend your elbows some and then pull your hands back behind your head and you'll see that your chest pushes forward. And now press straight up again. So straighten the elbows. And we'll do that a couple of times. Bend the elbows, bring them back. See if you can bring your hands even behind your head or on top of your head. And then straighten the elbows, push up. Do two more. Elbows bend. And reach back up. Elbows bend. Last one, reach back up. Now we're gonna bring the hands in front of us, tuck your chin towards your chest, round your spine and push out. So straighten the elbows, hollow out your belly, push out through your arms. If this is bothering you, you can always hold like a washcloth or a dish towel instead of interlacing your hands. Inhale, reach back up. Big stretch to the sky and now release your hands all the way down, nice and slow, shoulders soften, hands release. Good. Now we'll bring the arms straight in front of you, reach out and then pull them back up. Reach back, opening the chest. Exhale, hands to your knees, tuck the chin in, cat pose. Rounding the spine, pushing back. Now inhale, reach the arms back up and reach maybe behind you, heart comes forward. You can widen the arms to get a little deeper and then exhale, hands back to the knees, cat. Inhale, reach up, reach back, heart opens and hands to the knees, hollow out, scoop the belly in. Two more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it back down to your knees. Last one, inhale, reach up. Maybe gaze up if your head feels good, look up to the sky, even though it's probably a ceiling up there, that's okay. <laughs> you know it's still there. Exhale, hands to your knees. From your knees, slide down to your shins into your first forward fold. So your first forward fold can be nice and gentle. You can reach for the floor or reach for your ankles, whichever one feels better. When you come into this fold, relax the back. So the, the weight of your body does all the work. Gravity is your friend here. Let the shoulders hang. And if it feels good, you can even look underneath your chair. Good. Now, as we rise up, we're going to reach back forward. So reach your arms out in front of you. Push your feet as hard as you can into the ground. Squeeze your belly in and reach back up. Arms to the sky. Exhale into cactus arms. So elbows pull back behind your chest. Push your feet actively into the ground. And then bring your elbows together. And then the right one's going to go on the bottom. And then hold on to your shoulders. So making kind of a little cow face is what they call this or shoelace pose with your arms. Inhale the arms up and then draw a circle. So again, we're moving the spine, draw a circle with the arms. Nice and smooth. Do one more circle around. And then pause with the elbows straight in front of the shoulders. So look where the shoulders are, look where the elbows are. And then we'll open the arms back out to a T, all the way out. Inhale the arms to the sky. 
Exhale, the hands to the knees, round the back. And forward fold, let it come back down to your feet, your hands slide down. Head and neck and shoulders relax. Now we're gonna reach forward, flat back. This is where we're using our core. And now push into the feet, rise back up. Hands to the sky. Exhale into cactus arms, elbows back, shoulder blades squeezing inwards. Now bring your elbows together and then the left one's gonna go on the bottom and hug your shoulders. Point your elbows out away from you. And now circle in the other direction. Most people went clockwise. Now we're gonna go counterclockwise for this one. Unless you're maybe dyslexic and always go backwards first. <laughs> Circle around in the other direction. Notice what you feel in your back as the arms move. Your breath should be nice and smooth. If you find yourself panting or breathing too heavy, then slow down and take it a little bit easier. Come back through center. Elbows in front of the shoulders. Open the arms back out nice and wide. Then inhale all the way back up. Exhale, hands to the knees, round, tuck your chin towards your chest. Exhale, hands slide down your shins and all the way to the ground. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, reach your arms out in front of you and then press into the feet all the way back up. And then hands come down beside you. We're gonna take the right hand and we're gonna sit on it. So if sitting on it is like not your thing, hold on to the side of the chair. I'm gonna sit on mine. And then we're gonna work a little bit of the neck. So your left hand over here, you're gonna hold, you can hold the head, or you can just let that hand rest on your left leg. But feel the stretch, so the shoulders coming down, and you should feel a little stretch in the, the right side of your neck. And then you can play around with tilting your chin down or, or kind of leaning back. So you'll feel a little bit of different movement here, or different muscle groups as you move your head. And you can kind of rock it, maybe. Again, the hand on the head is just extra weight. It's not necessary. The, the fact that you're holding on to the right hand, that's drawing your, your right shoulder down. So you can feel those muscles there pretty good. All right, when you're ready, lift up that right cheek and roll out your right hand again. So sending some blood flow back to those fingers. And then reach the right arm up, bring it over your head for the side body stretch. Option is to also hang on to the back of your head so your palm of your hand can touch the back of your head. And you can lean. Now let's release the right hand down and bring it to your right leg. So let's do the left side now. Left, left hand you can sit on or hold the side of the chair. And then take your right ear to your right shoulder. So feeling the stretch here in the left side. And you can again, rock the head a little forward, a little back. Notice what you're feeling. How is it working for you and your body? And now bring your head back. Oh, that feels so good, right? Bring your head back up to neutral. Lift and relieve that left hand and roll it out. Reach your left arm up and then lean to the right. And lower the left hand. 
Now we're gonna reach both arms up. And now we're gonna make an X shape. So the right hand is gonna come to the left knee, left hand on top. Bend your elbows, push up through your spine, chin tucks towards your chest. So stretching out the back of your neck, push up through your shoulder blades. And we'll take about three breaths here. So you're gonna inhale and exhale three times. See if you can feel the intercostal muscles. Those are the muscles that surround the rib cage. We wanna expand them. Those breaths is massaging all the organs around your ribs. So inside of the ribs, you've got all this very special special uh, packaging in, in that part of your body. We want to take care of it. Give a little massage, a little love. And on your third exhalation, release your hands and reach back up all the way to the sky. Interlace your fingers and then put it behind your head. We're going to hold on to the back of the head and take a couple twists. So left elbow forward, look to your right. And now back through center and we'll twist to the left, left, right elbow forward. So back and forth, side to side, taking your time. If it doesn't feel good with your hands on your head, put your hands on your hips. See if you can keep your feet from moving. So actively working the legs, even though we're not standing on them, but trying to feel them. Do just a couple more. And come back through center, elbows point out to the side. Tuck your chin towards your chest, elbows to the nose. And again, stretching out the back of the neck. Look down in between your knees. All right, press into your feet, lift your head up, release your arms back out, and then float the hands down. Let's work on the legs for a moment here. I'm just gonna tilt my camera down so you can see my feet. Scoot back a bit. All right, so we just worked the, the hands a lot. Let's do a little bit of feet. Lift your right foot up, maybe spin the ankle. If you want to hold on to the knee, you can do that, or you can just kind of float it in air. We're just gonna move the ankle in all kinds of different right ways. If you're wearing shoes, you're, you've got extra weight on your foot. That's fine, but just know you're carrying a little bit more weight because shoes um, have weight in them. Whenever possible, try to practice yoga with your with uh, barefoot. <laughs> it helps you with balance too. Also now try to spread out your toes. So like we spread out our fingers, but see if you can spread out your toes to so making space in between each little toe. Make a little monkey feet. And then we'll lower the right foot when you're ready. And then the left foot rises and then we'll spin around the left ankle, moving it in every direction it can go. So circling it one way, circling the other way, point and flex the foot. We notice how when the foot moves, the calf muscle moves, the, sh the muscles around the front of the, the shin move. And then again, try to spread out your toes if you're not wearing shoes. So kind of make lots of space in between there. Stretching out the feet. All right, now bring this foot, bring the left foot down and now we're gonna come onto our tippy toes. Now it's the moment you come onto your tippy toes, you're gonna, your knees are gonna lift and see if you can bring back your shoulders on top of your hips and we'll sweep our arms up as imagine we're standing on our tippy toes. Now exhale, heels down, hands down to the knees. We'll do a couple of these. Inhale, lift up the feet, arms raise, exhale, hands to the knees. Now if the arms are too much, just do the feet. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, 
Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to move into some warrior poses. So if you're um, in your chair, we're going to turn to the right. So the right knee is going to go to the right side. And we're going to take the left foot back. If you are in a Madeline, I think you're in a, a, a short one. This might be harder for you. You may want to stand. So I'll show it to you both ways. So in the chair, it's called a crescent warrior. So you're going to take the left foot back behind you, the heels off the ground. Option also is to keep the knee in line with the hip. If you bring the foot back, you're going to get into the left hip flexor and you'll feel it. If you're standing, it's going to look like like this. So see, it's the same pose if you're seated. Also, short people, I use a block underneath my foot because I want my foot to stay on the floor. <laughs> I get this one back, but not this one. So I'm gonna square my hips to the right. So I feel both hip bones pointing forward. And now we can add in the arms. So reach the arms out in front of you and then pull the arms up over your head straight up. Now, if we start to bring our arms back, you're adding in a back bend. So you'll feel this little arch in your back. If that hurts, don't do it. Then stay just arms straight above you. But if it feels good, you can go back further, right? Now we're gonna reach back, arms in front of you. And then bring them down. Let's do a couple of these. Inhale, sweep the arms up, and then maybe behind you, depending on how it's working your body today. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up, arch the back if you're good, feeling ready for it. And then we're gonna reach forward. So bring your chest over your right knee, reaching your arms out. So really feeling that extension in my left leg now. Bring your hands together, prayer to your heart. So now your thumbs pointing towards your heart center and take your left elbow, point it to your right knee for the twist. So you're feeling a nice twist in the spine and the back. Lots of muscle groups working here. Remember to breathe. Your inhale, you lengthen the spine. The exhale deepens the twist. Nice and slow, spin yourself back forward, drop down the left foot. So now the left foot is pointing straight ahead to 12 o'clock, or the left foot can be out in front of you if this extension is not working for you today. Right knee is still bent at that 90 degree angle. And my hack for this is getting the knee crease close to the edge of the chair. And I feel like I got better stability when that happens. And I can also lengthen out the leg. So now let's just come back to sitting normal. Notice where your hips are and your shoulders, and then take your arms out to a T. Press into the left foot, the edge of the left foot. See if you can feel the left foot down there. Now press into the right foot. And just by pressing the foot down, you maybe feel a little bit of hip opener. Now we're gonna take the left hand to the left leg, right arm up and over your head. So big stretch, or you can hold the back of your head. Let's take three breaths here in this pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Return back out to arms out to a T. This is warrior two, Viridrasana two. And now we're gonna take the right hand to the inside of the right leg, so palms facing forward, and then the left arm over your head or the back of your head. So you can reach out. Notice the line from my finger, left fingertips to my left foot is nice and long. So stretch the body from fingers to toes. Now let's take a circle with the arm. So left arm's gonna draw a circle in the air. Remember to breathe. And if these circles are too much, do something else.
Notice the air temperature around you. Just be fully present for the practice. And let's do one more big circle because that felt so good. And then extend the arms back out to a T. Now look out over your right fingertips. We call this a drisky. Drisky is a soft gaze. It helps us maintain a focus. Now I want you to reach to the right. So sending your right shoulder towards your right knee, turn your right palm up, and then we're gonna reverse it again. So right hand goes over your head, bigger stretch this time. Hopefully you get a little deeper, leaning back to the left. Left hand can touch the left leg, or you can even bring it behind you for a bind. So that's where the left hand is behind your back. Good. Take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Arms back out and lower down. Step your feet together. Pause just for a second and stay real still. Maybe even close your eyes for a couple of breaths. Notice how those, that little series of, um, of movement affected your body and maybe how you're feeling in your, in your mind right now. That awareness is what you're looking for. You be fully aware of what you're doing as you're doing. All right, if your eyes are closed, blink them open and let's move on to the left side. So turn towards the left side of your room and we'll start in the Crescent Warrior. So remember your options. The knee crease goes to the edge of the chair. Left leg can go way back or you can keep the knee bent right beside you. So for more um, hip flexor work, straighten out the leg. And then just kind of square up your hips towards the left. And my whole, I don't know if you could tell this, but my whole left leg, I'm really only sitting on my uh, left butt cheek. My right leg is all, totally off the ground, off the chair. <laughs> all right, now we'll take our arms out in front of us. So our option is to reach the arms up and then bring them back down. Inhale. And exhale. So if you're working on that back bend, just bring your arms up and reach back behind you. That's going to push the heart forward. Now, mind you, if your back is not feeling it today, maybe just take your hands halfway up. You don't have to go all the way back for the back bend. Do two more, nice and smooth breaths. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, the arms down. Inhale, the arms up. And this one will hinge at the waist, reach forward over the left knee. Hands come together into prayer to your heart. We'll go into the twist now. So you're gonna take the right elbow towards the left knee and you twist so you're turning your, your torso towards the back of the room. And as you inhale, try to lengthen the spine. We don't want to collapse and make ourselves small. Okay, broaden it out. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, we just spin around. Right foot comes to the ground. Left knee stays bent at that 90 degree angle. And now we're in warrior two. Arms come out. We'll take a gentle, um, peaceful warrior here. So left palm goes up, reach back. We'll hold this for a couple breaths here. So it doesn't have to be the big one yet. So remember, we're lifting through the left arm. We're holding the back of the head. Right hand to the right thigh or bind it behind you. Inhale and exhale a couple times. And now when we're, we're ready, we move back into warrior two. 
to your extended side angle. Extended side angle, you're not dumping your weight into this leg, but rather just kind of resting the hand on the outside of the left knee, or that would be the inside of the left knee, not the outside, and then reach up with the right arm, the right hand to the head or extend over making an angle. So press into the right foot, reach out through the right fingertips, and then see if you can bring your, your torso around and up. So you're trying to use that left arm, kind of rotate it open. Now we'll draw those circles with the right arm. So make big circles in the air. Right, one more big circle around. And hold it and then lift yourself back up, warrior two. Look out over your left fingertips so your gaze goes to the left. And then reach slightly to the left, so pulling your shoulder forward and we'll turn the left palm up, reverse it over your head. Peaceful warrior. This is a pose that always makes me think of something a great, something graceful, something pretty, something um, something nice. And we'll very slowly lower right left hand down, and we'll take our feet together. Sit back to the sort of the mid to edge of your chair, press your feet into the ground, lift your shoulders up and close your eyes again. Just let everything settle. Notice how you feel now. Try not to have any attachments to what we just did, but just acknowledging, oh, that worked or that didn't work. And here we are right here in this moment. All right, let's do another sun salutation. So open your eyes, reach your arms up through the center. Exhale out to cactus arms, elbows back. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> not COVID, <laughs> just allergy. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Now reach forward into your thunderbolt, lightning bolt shape. So I want you to reach out through the arms, feel the extension of the spine, tailbone pointing to the chair. And now keep that straight spine and then lower hands to your legs. Look underneath your chair if it feels okay in your neck. If not, look forward. And now slide your hands up to your shins. Pull your shoulders back. Flatten out your back. And then exhale, fold deeper again. Reach your arms out to the side. Hug your belly in and we're gonna come back up to Extended mountain pose. Hands to your heart center. Good, lift your heels. I mean, lift your toes and press your heels down. Opposites, right? So I want you to feel the fronts of your shins and your knees. Now lean to the back of your chair. If you're on the floor, you can do this too. We're just gonna lift up the feet off the ground. Now we're activating our muscles and our core. And you can take a little walk. You can kick your legs. So my legs are hovering. If that's too much, just do this. Kick it out. But if you're hovering, you're going to feel this right away. Yep, there's your lower abdomen. And when you're ready, just touch back down, reset, and do it two more times. Do a couple little, little lifts and kicks. Go nice and slow with your kicks. Woo, it's hard. <laughs> but we're just trying to get our core Moving, you're feeling it, touch back down. And we'll do it again. So sitting on the back of your sit bones. Ooh, give a little kick. Nice. And when you're ready, lower the feet back down. Sweep the arms all the way up. 
Exhale into cactus arms. Re-extend up. Hinge forward at the waistline, thunderbolt. And then exhale over the legs to your fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to your shins or your knees. Shoulders push back, head, crown of your head pushes forward. And then exhale, fold deeper. Press down into the floor, arms reach out, scoop the belly in and rise all the way up. And hands to your heart center. Very nice. We're gonna stand now and work on um, some balance poses. So come on to the side of your chair, right side. We'll start on the right side. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Okay. So we're just going to start with just our standing pose, which is just feet on the ground. I know I always do this and people are like, probably wonder why do I make you just stand? Because I want you to feel what your natural stance is. So many of us rely on one side of our body. We put more weight on one side, but just equaling it out and noticing, okay, I lean a little bit to the left hip, but just trying to kind of get it, unless you have an injury, try not to shift your weight to one side. Good. Now we're gonna step out with the right foot. So, and then turn the left foot to the chair. And you may wanna, like I just had to scoot my chair back. I want my left toes pointing right underneath the, the chair. So I'm kind of in the middle. And then we're gonna bring the arms out to a T again. And then the left hand's gonna go down, right arm's gonna go up. And we'll come back up. And we'll do that again. Maybe get a little deeper. Right hand to the seat of the chair or the top of the chair, depending on where you're at. And then this right hand that's in the air, you can try to reach it back behind you. So that pushes the heart open more forward. And now bend into the left knee and come back up. We'll do it again. Left hand down, right arm up. Lean back with the right arm. Come on back up. Good. Now we're going to take the right hand and bring it to the chair. The left hand is going to sweep behind you. You're going to take the left hand to the chair and reach as far out as you can. If it's here or here, way out. And then sweep that right arm back up. Reach it across and down and up. And down. Two more. All the way across and back up. Return the left arm back to the sky. And now we're gonna come into a half moon shape. So in order for me to get into my half moon, I may have to step out my, my uh, step in my right foot so kind of bringing it in because my left hand's going to go to the chair and I'm going to try to float my right leg off and you can touch it back down. So you can do a little bit. You might have to adjust your feet, your stance to get it just right. And even if your hand doesn't reach the chair, you can do it like here and just kind of lift up. So bend into the left knee and see if you can get that right foot maybe a little bit off the ground. And you can go big, you can go small. And if you're really good, you can not use the chair at all. <laughs> you can maybe hold and hover in the air. We just take a couple, see what feels good to you today. That left knee stays soft. You can play and explore. What does their body need? And this I'm moving into just bending my right knee behind me and trying to find my right foot. So for some of you, this might be easy. Some of you are like, heck no, no way. 
but take what you need, leave what you don't. And when you're ready, we'll just come back to neutral, back into star. Arms extend up, and then we're going to come into a wide-legged fold. You can have your hands on your hips, or you can bring your hands down. Just a fold. Keep your hands on your legs somewhere. Now nice and slow, bend into your knees. Hands come up your legs, lift your chest, shoulders go back over your legs. Step your right foot in, and now we're back to Tadasana, our neutral stance. Take a breath or two here. See if you can pull the belly, the low belly in, igniting some fire. So feeling this squeeze, this hug in, that's activating your Uriyana Bandha. So pelvic lock, squeezes in. Soften your legs, <laughs> don't lock them out. That's a good way to pass out. And then we'll move over here to the left side. So you can move your chair, just walk around to the left. Again, we'll start feet firmly on the ground, pointing to 12 o'clock. Step out with the left foot, turn your right toes underneath the chair. And this is called pyramid. We'll take our arms out to the side to a T. And the left hand comes down, right arm comes up. We'll just move through a couple of these. And the more you draw back the left hand behind you, the more it rotates your chest open. Stay or move low the flow. If you need to stay because it feels good, you can do that. And then we'll come back up through center and we're gonna do the cross stretch. So this left right hand can go behind you or you can reach it to your leg and we're just gonna reach across, left arm to the chair and back up. So this is for your shoulder, rotator cuff, and up. Nice and slow. And you could stay here, let's stay for just a good stretch. Love the way it feels in my shoulder blade there. All right, now back out, arms extend, and then we're gonna go into that half moon pose. So take what you need. Remember, we just practiced it on the right. Take the right hand down and the left, at, left leg can come up. So we're just kind of shifting our weight. This right knee stays soft. It can even bend if you try to float it up. You don't have to adjust your feet. I gotta step back some. So right hand to the seat of the chair or the top of the chair. Let's see if you can lift the left leg. Balancing on the right foot and then touch it back in. Do a couple. Just play. And when you feel like you want to stay for a second and see if you can hang, you can try a little balance, not holding the chair. But know it's there if you need it. And you can also come onto your right elbow. You can bend the right knee, you can reach back with your left hand and find your left foot. So this is just a bigger, this is a different way, a bigger way to get into the hip flexor here. And when you're ready, you just return them back down. Star pose. Ah. Turn your toes back to 12 o'clock or even pigeon toe. 
So big toes point in, that'll get your outer shins, and then hands come down to your hips or to your shins or the floor. And take about three breaths here. Inhale and exhale three times. All right, when you're ready, bend your knees, rise up. Step your left foot in, standing mountain. Inhale, arms all the way up to the sky. And then to your heart center. And now we're gonna come into downward facing dog. So you're gonna turn the chair so you're facing it. And then walk your feet back for the full extension of your arms and we'll push back the hips and see if you can find a full body stretch pushing everything away so pushing out through the arms pushing the feet down and i like to wag my tail i like to move my hips side to side and even maybe looking under one arm i feel like that feels good in my shoulders Shift the hips, just kind of stretch it all out. And now we're going to rise up into our high plank. So lift the heels off the ground, bring your hips towards the chair. So shoulders push down into your hands. The head of lifts, and now option to add in a push up, bend the elbows and then straighten the elbows. So my heels are still off the ground. Two more. Bend the elbows, straight elbows. If your chair is sliding, don't do it. Make sure your chair is nice and firm and then push back to downward facing dog. Ah. All right, now we're gonna walk to the top of our chair. So rise up onto your heels again, tiptoe to the chair. Now see if we can balance on our toes. All right, lower your heels. Take back your right foot behind you and then tuck your toes under unless the tops of your feet are cranky. If they're not, if they're not feeling good, then you just wanna have your toes on the floor. But see if you can get your toenails on the ground so the toes are tucked under. And again, back to the hip flexor. You're gonna feel a little bit in the top of your right foot. And their option is to take the left arm up and lean back. So this is a back bend. Belly's coming forward, arms reaching back, stretching the top of your, your foot. Good, now let's lower left hand down, return the right foot next to the left. Maybe shake it out, it feels a little stiff. And then we'll do the next side. Left foot goes back, tuck the toes under if, if possible. If not, um, flat feet are tucked under, which is a little worse for you. So feel the little bit of stretch here in the hip flexor. And then we'll take the right arm up. Take the right hand back to the chair, bring your left foot in. And now for the squat, knees together, and then just drop down. See if you can bring the hips a little bit lower, but keep the spine straight. Option is to balance here, take the hands off the chair into that thunderbolt-like shape. We're now straighten the legs and reach all the way up. Exhale, hands come down. Return back to your seat or to the floor. You can go to the floor if you want. And we'll end up in a wide-legged stance here. Sit kind of to the middle, to the edge, not to the back, so you've got some space. And we're gonna move um, into our 
Sufi circles. So all I want you to do is kind of, if, you, if you're in a child of the 80s like me, we did all these poses where we did snakes. And if somebody knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> we're going to just kind of swing our body in a circle. You can move the shoulders, just kind of roll it all out. Ooh, my chair's squeaky. Sorry, that's not my bones. That's my chair. Now you're just going to kind of roll it out. Now, next time your chest comes forward, I want you to pause here. Hands on the knees, bend the elbows and come into a flat back. Ooh, feel that. See if you can find some inner thigh stretch. If you want to reach your hands down more towards your ankles and go lower, just don't fall out of your chair. A <sighs> couple breaths here. Now hands back to the knees. Came back. And now we're going to unwind. So if you're not sure which way you just went, go whatever feels natural and then go the other way. <laughs> we're just trying to be aware that we have to, whatever we do one way, we're going to do it the opposite way the next time around. Good. And now instead of folding forward, we're going to undo our spine and just straighten it out. Now I want you to lift up your legs. See if you can bring your knees in, little happy baby. You can hold on to the knees or behind the knees. Bring your shoulders back. Flex your feet in the air. Good. And I'll return the feet back to the ground. Take your right arm to your right knee and we're just gonna slide down, reach the right ankle. Draw back your left shoulder, look up. Right hand slides back to the knee, left hand slides down your left leg. Right hand to your hip, look up to the right. Now back through center. Take your arms out nice and wide and now lean to the back of your sit bones and see if we can balance again, frog your feet or make your feet look like frog feet or you can bring them close together. This is what we were doing earlier. This is working at those abdominals. And when you're ready, lower down, hands to your knees, last forward fold. And take your time all the way back up. Toe heel your feet together and knees to the right. Right hand, um, left hand out to the side. Take your left hand to the back of the chair, right hand to the other side of the chair with a twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine upwards. Feel a lift in the rib cage. Now back through center. Pause here for just a second, straight spine. And then walk over, pointing your knees to the left. Extend your right arm out. Right hand to the back of the chair, left hand to the other side of the chair. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, deep and twist. Now when you're ready, come back through center. Sit to the back of your chair or lay on the floor or a couch or whatever is nearby. And see if you can straighten out your legs and just make yourself as comfortable as possible. Just do a little bit of a meditation before we end.
And with your eyes closed, just bring all your attention inwards into your heart. Kind of repeat this affirmation to yourself. Today is a day of happiness and peace. I am grounded and I am centered. I am grateful for my beautiful life and that it is filled with so many blessings. I move through my day with consciousness, with grace, and with love. Take three more conscious breaths. Breathe in three more times, breathe out three more times with awareness. Try to make your inhales and your exhales as long as you can. And start to rock your head from one side to the other side. You can tuck your chin towards your chest or you can leave it back, just kind of rocking a little side to side. And then start to make other movements, maybe stretch out your fingers, your toes. You can take a big stretch up or whatever feels good to you to kind of realign the body into this moment, just bringing it back to today. And bring a big smile to your face and we'll end our practice with our hands together. The hands at prayer is a symbol of balance, symbol of recognizing our masculine and feminine side, our, you know, every sort of opposite we have, our lightness, our darkness. I wish my hope for each of you is that you practice balance, not just standing on one foot, but balance in your life. Keeping yourself balanced with what you truly need. The light in me honors the light within you. Be happy, be healthy, be kind. Let's open our eyes and acknowledge one another. Namaste.